SAP Business One 9.1 Inventory Item Cost Valuation Based on Serial and Batch With a new inventory item cost valuation, the cost is managed on serial or batch level. This way cost variances can be reflected in profitability and we can calculate gross profit for a specific batch or serial. Here are the required settings. Under company details, we have to select the valuation method by serial or batch. Under item master data or general tab, select the item to be managed by serial or batches. And finally, under inventory tab, select as valuation method serial or batch. Let's see how this works. Here we have SAP Business One 9.1. Let's start by going to Purchasing, select AP Invoice, select our vendor, choose the dates, and we already have one item that is uh, batch managed and where we manage the cost by batches. Let's buy. 10 items for the price of 10 pounds and let's add another row and let's again buy 10 items but this time the price is 20 let's go to quantity field and select the batches so the first one is uh, batch 1 1 quantity 10 the update and the second one it is batch 2 2 quantity 10 and update now we have defined two batches for these items let's add this document so now we have two items on stock and we can go to sales so let's select AR invoice again the same process select our customer select the item here let's sell this one for 30 pounds and enter again the same item this one will be as well 30 and now let's select the batches here from the first batch one one we select one update and from the second one Batch 2, 2, we select as well 1 and update. And let's add this document. Now, when we go back to this AR invoice and click here on uh, gross profit, we can see that the batch valuation has calculated the gross profit based on the base price what we have bought. So for the first batch 1.1, one, one, we have a lot higher gross profit because the purchase price was lower. Then when it comes to stock revaluation, inventory, inventory transactions, inventory revaluation, re and select our item batch. And here we can revaluate the batches one by one as required. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.